Welcome to Photo Plus. In this video, we're going to look at the Cutout Studio feature. Now, the Cutout Studio essentially allows you to cut out a subject from an image. So, with an image loaded into Photo Plus, we'll click Cutout Studio here. This brings us to the Cutout Studio interface, and the first thing we will do is simply click drag on this tab window here to resize it. This gives us a bigger area to display our image in that we're going to work with. So, to begin cutting out, we have these two brush tools up here. This is the discard brush tool, and this is the keep brush tool. So, as the discard brush tool is selected by default, what we will do is click, drag, over all this background area, like so. And we'll see it's gradually selected, we can see the outlines disappearing inwards toward the swan. So we're cutting out the background piece by piece. So we want to continue until we've got a rough outline around the subject you're trying to cut out, like so. Then what we want to do is basically go in and tidy up the cutout. I will zoom into the image, and I'll select a different preview mode. So by default we're showing the original image. If we go down here, we can tint the discarded areas as red, and the kept areas as green. So we want to start marking areas to keep. We'll switch to the Keep Brush tool here, and then click, drag over areas we wish to keep. Now, because this is quite a complex subject, we want to make some quite fine adjustments. So, what we'll do is take the Grow Tolerance down to a smaller value, such as 20. And this will ensure a more precise result. Again, we have areas like this, so we can switch back to the Discard Brush tool to remove them, and then switch back to the Keep Brush tool. I'm going to zoom in further, and we can also turn the Marching Ants outline off, which actually makes it slightly easier to work with because we can actually see the edges of the subject more clearly. So what we want to do is paint back in the areas of the subject we wish to keep, like so. Again, if we make a mistake, not a problem, just switch to the discard brush tool. Okay. And here we've actually got another area we can discard. And then just to tidy this cutout up a bit, we'll just run along the neck here, switching between the Keep and Discard brush tools as required. Got a bit of neck here that we want to keep. Again, you can zoom in even further for even finer control. Like so. Okay, so we can also switch to another preview mode, which is the transparent preview mode. So if we go ahead and click this, we'll see our cutout is now solid and the areas we've discarded are now entirely transparent. So, finally, with our output settings down here, we're given the option to change the width of the cutout and also blur the edges, which should help to get rid of some of this jagginess. So we can click Preview, and we'll notice the jagginess has been reduced. So now we can click OK, and we now have our finished cutout image that we can move around and make further adjustments to. 
So we can now use this image as a composite layer in another image, or we can export it to a format that has a transparency or alpha channel. Well, that's all for this video. Don't forget to check out the other Photo Plus tutorials, and if you have any questions, please ask on the Community Plus forums. Thank you for watching.